this is Ashley with Toy Attic, and we're here at Toy Lanta. And we're here to check out the vendors. We've got some vintage toys, we've got some new toys. Um, we're here to check out some rare toys that you don't see at a lot of places. So we're really just here to talk to some of the owners and just see what they have to offer. We're here with Alec. Tell the audience what you're doing here at this convention. Uh, well, I'm a volunteer here at uh, Toy Lanta, and we're having a great time down here. I've been coming since I was about 12, so it's kind of a passion of mine, so I'm having a really good time. Great. Awesome. Um, what is your favorite part of the experience? Really just everybody getting together and uh, the camaraderie of everything. I mean, it's cool to come and find a toy, but you know, it's a lot better to find a friend. So. Definitely, yeah. definitely. What are your favorite type of um, collectibles? G.I. Joe, uh, Masters of the Universe, all kinds of vintage stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm an old soul. So. <laughs> awesome. Great. Well, it's great talking to you. Yeah, thank thank you. you. We're here with Jason with Spiro Toys. Tell hey. us a little bit about your toys here at the so, show. So we're doing anthropomorphic action figures. We've actually got waves one, two, and three here, and we're also debuting our Kickstarter prototypes. So you'll kind of see some of our 3D painted stuff. That's they look like toys, but they're not quite toys, and it's kind of give people an idea of like what they're going to get when they order. But you know, we've got a ton of production, like actual product for people to buy up at the booth, and it's day it's day two, and we're almost sold out. So. We're hoping to be bored on Sunday. We're just going to hang out and look at toys and stuff. So. Very cool. So this is a new company. It is. We, okay. We started the company in 2019, and we got product at the very end of 2022. So we're, awesome. we've just had product for a little over a year now, and uh, we're kind of doing a brand awareness and like a, just a press tour to kind of let people know about what the toys are, what the brand is. And sure. A lot of people take like, like Ninja Turtles or Nike for granted. And they don't realize like the work that goes in like getting the word out. So, sure. so our job now is to kind of like let people know about the toys and, and the comics and stuff like that. Because we know we've got cool toys, but if you don't know about it, you don't buy it. So right. That's kind of our job. Can you show us um, one of these toys yeah. closer up? Let's see here. Nick, can you give me the gorilla? Give me the uh, brief. So this is one of our deluxe figures. It's a, uh, it's a little bit heavier and, and, and beefier than our regular figures, but it's it's essentially graded for like four and over, but we do, we, we say 14 and over uh, because they're kind of considered collectibles, mm -hmm. but there's just a, a bunch of great quality in it. He's kind of like our version of the Hulk, you know, but he's a sure. gorilla. You know? Okay. So, but uh, they come with all kind of accessories, extra hands and stuff like that. So it's just kind of a, an altogether fun thing to just kind of, hang out after work and everything and you know yeah relax, so. so what was your inspiration with this toy um you know i was actually doing a graphic design and i did a uh, i did some logos for like a drive through zoo okay and like I, when i was done i had like all these drawings of animals and stuff yeah. and i was like i kind of like animals and disney cartoons and stuff and so i started thinking well maybe i'll do a comic book you know and then uh whenever i designed the comic book i thought well let me make the characters look like you know, kind of toyetic. Yeah. And once the comic book kind of took off, then we went ahead and just started doing the toys themselves. Very cool. All right, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. We're here with Nowhere Toys, and this is Tony we're speaking to. Tell us a little bit about your booth, Tony. So, we have a little bit of everything in the booth. Focusing heavy on vintage, of course, because of the show. Uh, we even go back as garbage pill kids. So we've got garbage pill kids in the booth, Transformers. Vintage Motu, vintage Star Wars, autographs. You can actually come to the booth and get a certified autograph of Peter Cohen, which is wow. the voice of Optimus Prime. Awesome. So this is a one-of-a-kind first shot. So first shots are used for catalog shoots, approvals, final approvals of products. This one in particular is a spider man. Okay. It's certified, graded. It's actually hand painted. Okay. So there's only one in existence. Now, this is pretty cool because we just obtained this one yesterday. And I'm still in debate whether I want to sell it or keep it for myself. It's kind of a hard decision. But this is uh, one of the rare figures to find out of the Marvel Secret Wars line, wow. which came out in the 80s. So these were international. There was three figures that are pretty much super hard to find, which is Electro, Iceman, and Constrictor. Okay. And this one's graded in 80 plus, and I'd say this one's around 1500. 
Okay, very cool. And one of my new favorite pieces for the show. We're here with Ryan with Toy Federation. So what have you bought this weekend? Have you bought anything fun, exciting? Yeah. So I bought a proof sheet, or it's called a Cromulent Proof from the Kenner Indiana Jones line. Okay. Uh, from the Will of Souls playset, which is where they found the Ark of the Covenant in the movie. So I am Big Earl, and this is Big Earl's Antique Toys. I specialize in Six Million Dollar Man and Bionic Woman toys. Very cool. I started my collection years ago. I was a big fan of this line from the 70s. I've been all around the country having Lee Majors and Lindsey Wagner autograph different types of toys, you know, at different venues. Uh, as you can see, if you want to come in a little closer, uh, we've got uh, hard to find unique items uh, from the toy line, and each one of them has been uh, autographed by the star from the ABC hit series. I've also got pictures where the stars have uh, autographed each item. If it's autographed, what does that usually go for? Like, what is that worth? It usually triples the value of the wow. item. What's your favorite um, toy from your collection? Uh, it's probably the first figure of the series uh, right here. And that's the uh, series one. It's the Bionic Man action figure. And he came with an engine block like you see here. And it was pretty cool. Let me see if I got a figure I could show you what he did. So this is a Series 1 figure, okay? And a lot of kids broke them in the 1970s because they didn't know how to get the arm back down. But if you turn his head to the right side, you're going ahead and push this lever in the back. You push that lever in the back, you can see his bionic arm action sure. going up, okay? And you had to turn his head back to the left to get the arm down, okay? But kids back in the 70s, we didn't know any better. We just yanked that arm back <laughs> out and it broke. And he came with this unique engine block here, okay? And that would fit in his hand and he would actually raise the engine block. Wait. This toy is one of the rarest ones there are in this building. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is uh, the Tungosaurus and it's from the uh, Thundercats line. Okay. And it's the most desired out of this line. Wow. Yeah. So. Okay. I actually don't even have it for sale. I have a sign up here that says not for sale. Okay. And I've had guys to come by and actually take pictures with it and everything else wow. because it's that rare. How and old is this toy? That I couldn't tell you. I want to say it's early 80s. Okay. Uh, I'd have to check the date on it. It's early 80s and uh, people's only seen it in books. So show me more about what this toy does. Well, it basically, you turn the tail on the back. That. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it grabs the action figure and it pulls uh -huh. it back in. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay. And it's a tail ender piece. And what that means was it come out as a later issue. So there weren't a whole lot of them made. Okay. And the ones that were made actually hit big cities. Okay. Atlanta being one of those, mm -hmm. this was actually found less than probably 30 minutes outside Atlanta. Wow. Yeah. Um, I bought a collection from a lady. I went from actually on an interstate to a blacktop road, to a gravel road, to a dirt road, to an old logging road, back to this woman's house. Cabin she had back there, had a barn back there, and this was in that collection. Okay. Yeah, I bought Thundercats, I bought G.I. Joes, I bought a ton of stuff from her. And like I say, this this had to come out of Atlanta back in the day. Okay. Because the small towns like I live in, they didn't get this kind of stuff. Sure. Here's my baby. Here. He already showed you the Tungasaurus. <laughs> the Tungasaurus is my baby. <laughs> Hi, Marissa. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. How good. Are you Show doing? us what you've got here today. This is the Steel Brigade. Uh, he is the Goldhead 1992 version. Cool. And he originally came with this paperwork, uh, came with a patch, a gun, backpack, and a stand. This one is not graded, but it probably is gradable. He's one of the rarest Joes that's out there. Wow, right very cool. And the other one actually is worth Let's see it. I'd have to actually take it out, but people will know. I've got 19 on it. This is a very good shaped box. It's called the Missile Man Headquarters. It's all cardboard. Yeah. It's a Sears exclusive that they had, and it comes with three different Cobra figures. They've all got special cards, red cards, 
Yeah. And it's got instructions, it's got a file card holder. Wow, yeah. amazing. They're, they're very, very hard to find. Yeah. So that's our other big ticket. Very which cool. Which is actually for sale. Not not my baby there. Yeah. Have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a four in one bonanza wagon. And uh, what's so unique about it, one thing is the, the actual uh, box itself is still in nice condition, but all the, uh, the parts are still in the trees and the, inside the insert. Okay. And the paperwork's still with it. Uh, pieces on the trees. Very cool. Now, how much is something like this worth? Well, I'm, I'm gonna ask a thousand bucks. Okay. Hi, Seth. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Tell me what um, what you do. Do you have a company, a toy company? Yeah. Well, actually, I do have a toy shop. A okay. Sasquatch Toys and Comics. Awesome. Over here in Homewood, Alabama. Okay. okay. So, um, I've, I've been collecting since I was little. So, wow. And wow. Uh, I just, I love all the vintage stuff. So. Very cool. So, what can you specialize in? What type uh, of toys? A little bit of everything, but okay. mainly more vintage than anything else. But yeah. we do do modern. Stuff and we also do pops, okay. you know, comics, mouse fly bags, it's perfect cool. for the girls. Yes. So, you know. so, how vintage are we talking? Like, how, how old are we going back? Mid 70s. Uh, okay, cool. But then, of course, in the comics, that's a completely different realm. You know, yes. We deal with like, you know, Golden Age, Silver Age, that yes. kind of stuff as well. Very so. cool. Well, do you have any toys you can show us that you're proud of? Well, I have some gorgeous ones, but a lot of them are already sold. You know? The prettiest grill that I have right now. Be this right here. So this is a sealed Darth Vader's TIE Fighter wow. from 1977. Still sealed, which is unheard of. And it, this actually graded out AFA 80. So I'm um, just really, really nice. This is a $6,000 piece. Very cool. Awesome. And then another nice thing I have right here would be... This is actually a test shot. Uh -huh. Turtle. So really, really nice. And this actually grayed out in 85. And these guys are really rare too. Test shots are pretty rare. So yeah. there's only a handful of those out per figure. So. Okay, very cool. So we're here with Matt and Tim with Savage Crucible. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Well, we're an independent toy company making our first foray into the uh, into action figures. And we're trying to do uh, something that that appeals to people who have a lot of fantasy, you know. So it's basically a bunch of lizard men, we've got a bunch of barbarians, we've got a bunch of Cthulhu kind of guys, dwarfs. Uh, this is wave one. We'll have wave two will be the barbarians and stuff right over here. Super articulated, beautiful, beautifully painted, beautifully made uh, action figures with you know fully full articulation. I won't move this one around because it's all close stuff, but you know if you look at this guy. Super articulated, super beautifully made, you know. Nice. Like that. And it's a brand new company. We're trying to, um, you know, give people what they want. Uh, the Dungeons and Dragons crowd, right? Very much so. We're all collectors. So we That's come right. From, we come from the same world. Uh, and we were just like, we want to start seeing stuff that we want. So that's what started with uh, Yeah. It was happen. more of... Um, yeah, we're not getting all these marks, so let's just go do it ourselves. So. Sure. Yeah. So. These are box samples we got right here, straight from the factory. So, and they've got they've got a full breakdown of the character and the backstory. We got a graphic novel right over here. Nice. There's all sorts going on. So we're super pumped. You know, so what's pumped. like the price point on these types of types of toys? So they range uh, anywhere from. Uh, it's uh, a thirty nine ninety nine, I think, for the more the more. Um, Intricate ones, and then sure. we go all the way down to a sixteen ninety nine for the for the less uh, okay. costume. You know, so yeah. so very, we, very cool. we basically we're trying to achieve uh, a price point that would work for everyone. Yeah, so, right. So, and, and we also have like um, uh, kits, so you can kit them out differently. You know, so nice. that guy. As this guy is this guy with a, with a kit, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So all the armor, everything's interchangeable. So really, it's it's you, a love letter to customizers, if you will, uh, and just regular action figure fans. Okay, cool. You just want cool stuff, like so. If you've got a Conan figure at home, he's got no lizard guy to fight. We want a lizard guy, so it's all yeah. 
hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what your favorite toy was.